Good day, I am Rizakel Madison Cantillo and for today, I'm going to perform the Fundal Height Measurement, Leopold's Maneuver, and Ascultating Fatal Heart Rate. So prior doing all of the procedure, we need first to identify and explain plan and procedure to the client. The rationale for doing this is for us to verify if we're handling the right patient and for in order for her to have an awareness what we are uh, what we will be going to do. The next is we need to wash your hands, do proper hand hygiene, and observe other infection control procedure. The rationale for doing this is to prevent the spreading of microorganisms. The next is we need to provide privacy to the patient. The rationale for this is for the patient to be comfortable while doing, while doing the procedure. The next is we need to prepare all of the equipments that we will be needing. The rationale for doing this is to save time and effort. So firstly, the fundal height measurement. The rationale for doing this procedure is to assess the growth and development of the fetus. Then prior doing this, we need to prepare our equipment, which is the tape measure, in order to measure the fundal height. So let's go to now to the implementation proper. So we need first to provide privacy. So if there, there are curtains, we need to ensure that this is closed. And we need to wash our hands. And the next is we need to introduce ourselves to the patient. Good day, ma'am. I am Rizaga Madison Cancillo, and I will be your nurse for today. Are you ma'am Collado? Yes. Okay. So, ma'am, today we will be going to have a fundal height measurement. It will not hurt you as well as your baby, and it will just take a short period of time. Is it okay for you? Yeah. Okay, so now let's begin. So, the first step is we need to position the client in supine position. So, Okay. Next is we need to instruct the client to relax. Mom, just relax. Okay, next is we need to expose the baby bump. Okay, now, so here's our tape measure. So, the type of measurement that we will be having is the centimeter. So, place it in the superior edge of the symphysis pubis up to the top of the fundus. So this is 35 centimeters. If the measurement or, or if the result is 35 centimeter, therefore this female is 35 weeks pregnant because the measurement and the weeks that the woman is pregnant should be equivalent. After that, after getting the measurement, we need now to note it and position the client in a comfortable position. And then we need to wash your hands and document all of the data that we gathered. So we're done with the fundal height measurement. We will now proceed on the Leopold's maneuver together with escalating fatal heart rate. So the rationale for doing this is to determine the baby's position as well as its heart rate. And then when doing the Leopold's maneuver, we need first to obtain the client's OB history. We need to determine the client's weight, vital sign, LMP, and AOG. And then the equipments that we will be needing are stethoscope, Doppler if available or possible, the pillows, and the watch with second hand. So as what I have mentioned a while ago, we need to wash our hands and observe proper infection control procedure, provide privacy for the patient, introduce ourselves, identify the patient, and explain plan and procedure to her. So before implementation proper, we need first to allow the client to avoid. Now, for the implementation proper, we need to raise bed in appropriate height. And we need to slightly flex, slightly flex the knees of the patient. And then, we need to instruct the client to relax. Just relax now. And the next is 
You need to expose. So, for the first maneuver, we're determining whether it is the baby's head or back. So, in doing that, we need to play position our hand in triangle position and place it to the top of the fundus. And feel if it is baby's head or back. Head feels big and hard while buttocks feel soft and tiny. So for this part, I feel soft and tiny. Time. It indicates that this part is the baby's buttocks. The second maneuver is determining the baby's back. So in doing that, we need to again face the face of the patient and position our hand in each side. So this hand will be the supporting hand for this hand. Okay. So the back of the patient or the back of the baby rather feels firm and long. Okay. So here, I feel here the baby's back. So it is important for us to know where the baby's back is because this site is the has the most accurate fatal heart rate. So because of that, we will going to ask auscultate the fatal heart rate. So we'll be needing a stethoscope with the use of the bell. Okay? So we need to open first and feel here for the fatal heart rate. So when we finally heard the heartbeat of the baby, so we need to count from one to 60 seconds, approximately one minute, and the normal heart rate, fatal heart rate should be 120 to 160 beats per minute. So now let's proceed to the third maneuver. In the third maneuver, we, we're determining if the baby is engaged or not. So in doing that, we need to have an L shape on our hand and position it in near the symphysis pubis. Okay, that's that is how we do. In doing this, if the baby's head cannot lift up, it is an indication that the baby is engaged. While or however, if the baby moves Therefore, the baby is not engaged. So, for this patient, her baby is engaged. And then next, fourth and final maneuver, we need to place the client's feet and position our hands in the side. This, this procedure or this part of maneuver, this fourth maneuver, is we're determining the cephalic prominence. So here, we need to do this and verify the baby's position. Alright, so after doing all of these procedures, we need to provide or position the client where he or she is, is comfortable and we need to wash our hands document all of the data that we gathered and if it is necessary we need to inform the patient about the results thank you